It's the largest, most powerful machine mankind has ever built, consuming enough electricity to power 300,000 homes. Alleged to be capable of everything from interdimensional travel to destroying the universe itself. Owned by CERN, a nuclear research facility, the Large Hadron Collider is a 17-mile circular tunnel buried 500 feet beneath the border of France and Switzerland that uses powerful magnets to collide subatomic particles at incredible speeds. Some believe CERN is responsible for what is known as the Mandela Effect. There are people alive in that universe that aren't alive in our universe. From its location on a former temple to Apollo, the statues of the Hindu god of destruction, strange rituals and bizarre videos, join me as we search for the real truth behind the Large Hadron Collider and the secrets of CERN. Does something seem off to you? They can't put their finger on it, but thousands of people have the feeling that something is just not right. That the world we currently inhabit is somehow different. Is it just the stress of modern life? Or could we actually be living in the twilight zone? As far out as it may sound, there may be more truth to that idea than we would like to believe. Parallel dimensions, portals, reality changes are not only the stuff of science fiction. According to physicists, there exist parallel dimensions, each containing alternate versions of our world and even ourselves. A little bit of deeper research reveals that not only do scientists at CERN hope to discover proof of these parallel dimensions, they want to open portals into them so that something from that other world can come into ours. Could such a doorway have already been created? If so, how would we know? What signs might be noticeable in our everyday lives? In the Twilight Zone episode, The Parallel, written by Rod Serling, NASA attempts to send an astronaut into space, but instead, unknowingly, he ends up in a parallel dimension. A world almost exactly like the one he left, except for a few minor differences. In the present dimension, he's a colonel. In the past dimension, he was a major. His house in the present dimension, for example, has a fence. The previous one did not minor changes that to all those around him had always been that way. What do you mean? That fence wasn't there when I left last week. Are you kidding me? That fence was there when we bought the house. Today, thousands of people have the strange feeling the world we currently inhabit has changed. They point to specific names, events, and things they insist are now different. The growing phenomena took off online, earning the moniker the Mandela Effect. The phenomena was first noted in 2009 by paranormal investigator Fiona Broom and gets its name from the African civil rights leader Nelson Mandela, who many remember as having died in the 80s, only to learn to their dismay that their memories were false and he actually lived to be released from prison and become president of South Africa. A Mandela Effect is when collective memories long held by masses of people turn out to be incorrect or false. Those affected have distinct memories of something or an event only to find out that it never was that way, at least not in this dimension. It's something that sticks with people. They know they remember it. They remember talking about it with their aunt or Oh, you know, like in the Nelson Mandela situation, they remember seeing the funeral on TV day after day after day, the coverage. And it, it's something that just does not seem to go away. So that's what makes the Mandela effect different from simply forgetting where you left your keys so many times when you come home from work. In the movie Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, think of Darth Vader's iconic line. If you remembered Luke, I am your father. You may be one of the millions worldwide suffering from this bizarre new phenomenon. He told me you killed him. No. I am your father. 
But if you remembered him saying, Luke, you're in good company. Here's a clip of James Earl Jones, the actor who actually said the line, also remembering it that way. When I first saw the dialogue that said, Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. I said to myself, he's lying. I wonder how they're gonna play that lie out. Which picture of the Monopoly man looks most correct to you? If you chose the one with the monocle, you just experienced a Mandela effect. Do you remember a movie called Shazam, in which the actor Sinbad played a genie? In this reality, the movie never existed and Sinbad never played a genie, despite thousands of people having similar memories of it. And that certainly hasn't stopped the actor from being inundated with tweets about this phantom movie. The children's book series, The Berenstain Bears, for instance, many remember being spelled Berenstain Bears. Other classic examples include the long quoted line from the movie Forrest Gump Life is like a box of chocolates. What if I told you that line was never in the movie? Rather, the real line is, life was like a box of chocolates. Don't believe me? Check it out for yourself. My mom always said, life was like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And it extends far beyond mere movie lines. Even Bible verses are said to have changed. So what does all this have to do with CERN and the Large Hadron Collider? Could the experiments taking place there have inadvertently or even deliberately messed with our space-time, creating what we call the Mandela Effect? How so? According to theorists, it's possible that a shift in gravity produced by the Large Hadron Collider could create a rift in the veil between our universe and a parallel universe. This is getting confusing. Why don't we call our universe, Universe A, and this universe, Universe B? Hey, why can't we be Universe A? Yeah, yeah. we want the best ladder. We called it first. Besides, this place kind of feels like a B, you know? Who's to say that when you mess with the fabric of the universe, you don't also affect time itself? And the only evidence that this was happening would be minor changes in the world around us just like Major Robert Gaines in the Twilight Zone episode. Did Rod Serling really predict what we call the Mandela Effect back in 1963? It's unimportant. It's insignificant, really. And yet... And yet it all seems to be part of some sort of crazy pattern. Could the changes Mandela Effect sufferers are experiencing actually be evidence we're in a parallel dimension? Some theorists think so, and have uncovered evidence they believe indicates CERN is responsible. November 2014, a weird video featuring CERN scientists and students dancing along to the song Happy by Pharrell was uploaded to YouTube. But it wasn't until much later that the video sparked a flurry of controversy and speculation among the Mandela Effect community. One scientist in particular, John Ellis, a renowned physicist, is seen with two signs around his neck, one that reads Bond Number One, the other clearly has Mandela on it. Researchers theorize that the sign that says Bond Number One is a sly reference to the actor that played James Bond in the first Bond film, a man named Barry Nelson. When put together, the signs equal Nelson Mandela. It is important to note that this video was made in 2014, before the Mandela effect gained notoriety online. If that is just a coincidence, it's a very eerie one. But is there another tie-in to the Mandela Effect and James Bond? In the classic Bond film, Moonraker, the villain Jaws, who has metal teeth, falls in love with a character named Dolly. Mandela Effect sufferers remember her as having braces, 
the iconic scene cuts between Jaws' smiling teeth and Dolly's right as the music reaches a crescendo. Except in this reality, she isn't wearing braces. And the actress insists she never did. But many fans are perplexed and assert that they distinctly remember her wearing braces and claim it was a crucial element of the scene. Nevertheless, all the original film prints and old VHS tapes now show her without braces. This is part of what makes the Mandela effect so bizarre. If things have changed, why can't we find proof like an old video cassette or Berenstein Bears book? Because according to theorists, we are actually in another dimension. And in this reality, things have always been the way they are. But that isn't the only connection between the CERN facility and the phenomenon known as the Mandela Effect. Another strange coincidence surrounding CERN and the Mandela Effect concerns the actress Sally Field. Sally Field is involved in a couple of famous Mandela Effects herself. First, many insist they remember her name being Sally Fields with an S. And of course, she played Forrest Gump's mother. But her most prominent Mandela effect is from her famous Oscar acceptance speech. Most seem to remember her saying, You love me. You really love me. However, she really never said that. At least not in this timeline. And I can't deny the fact that you like me right now. You like me. It was later revealed on David Letterman that her brother, Rick Field, is actually a physicist at CERN. Uh, I don't know anything about your family. Oh, well. Turns out you have a brother oh, who yes. is a, a scientist. A, uh, uh, a, a high energy particle scientist. High energy particle, energy particle scientist. Energy particle scientist. He's one of the finest scientists on Earth. And where does he do his work? At CERN, where they, you know, the, I think there's 200 of them that you know, you know, release this information about the Higgs particle, the God particle, and he was one of the, the scientists who made that discovery. Is her relationship to a prominent CERN scientist just a coincidence? Or yet another clue that the experiments taking place at the Large Hadron Collider are somehow responsible for the Mandela effect? Sergio Bartolucci former director for research and scientific computing of the facility, made headlines when he warned the super collider could open otherworldly doors to, quote, peer into this open door, either by getting something out of it or by sending something into it. Josh, what are they doing there at CERN with this large Hadron Collider? What are they doing? Yeah, um, well, the official story, you know, and what I believe that most physicists there uh, w would accept is quite simply they just want to um, smash particles together, try to try to discover new particles and uh, put together the pieces of the building blocks of reality. But the really interesting thing is, uh, and, and they make no secret about this, this isn't like a conspiracy or anything, this, this is right on their own website, part of what they want to do is open a portal and they even use this language, open a portal to a higher dimension or parallel dimension, wow. parallel universe, and measure, uh, measure extra dimensional space, but also communicate with any intelligences that might be inhabiting uh, that space. These extra dimensional beings could have intelligences vastly superior to our own, and some fear the consequences of inviting them into our world could be devastating. World-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking warned against creating such otherworldly doors, saying, we may not like what comes through. When a group of Portuguese students visited the facility, they photographed large glass panels with strange writing on them, each in a different ancient language. The languages pictured are believed to be ancient Mandarin, Hebrew, and Sanskrit. Sanskrit is a long dead language known only to scholars. It is one of the oldest written languages on earth, also known as 
the language of the gods. This evidence has led some to speculate that CERN may be attempting to open a gateway into the legendary abyss spoken of in the book of Revelation. And there is some evidence that the research being conducted at CERN might have more spiritual implications than we are being told. In front of the CERN facility stands a giant 12-foot statue of a Hindu god named Shiva, performing a strange dance. Who is this god Shiva, and why does CERN, a scientific research institute, display a giant statue of it? Shiva is the third and most feared god of the Hindu triad. It brings destruction, death, and war. It is also important to note that Shiva is surrounded by a wheel reminiscent of CERN's giant Hadron Collider. Could it be that ancient Hindus actually witnessed their god coming out of a wheel-shaped stargate similar to the large Hadron Collider? And as if this wasn't enough, CERN created a strange, very occult video called Symmetry, in which scientists at the CERN facility actually performed Shiva's cosmic dance of destruction, the Natarasha. In this mysterious video, CERN scientists create a ritual circle and at times appear to become possessed. Why would CERN spend time and money on a bizarre video that has no scientific value? CERN claims the statue of Shiva was merely a gift from the nation of India, but why would the most feared god of the Hindu pantheon, the bringer of cosmic destruction, be the appropriate deity to represent the research taking place at CERN? This is where it gets even weirder. The facility itself is located near the French town of St. Genus Pauli, which in the days of ancient Rome housed a great temple to the god Apollo and derives its name from the Latin word for Apollo, Apollyacum. It was believed that this location was the gateway to the underworld, where Apollo himself was bound. And what are we to make of the fact that the CERN logo cleverly contains three sixes? Researchers point to these strange anomalies as evidence that there is more going on at the mysterious facility than the public is being made aware of. But if dark rumors surrounding the facility wasn't enough, a bizarre video was about to send internet speculation into overdrive. In 2016, a creepy video surfaced on the web entitled Murder at CERN. It quickly gained attention worldwide as it appeared to depict a nighttime ritual in front of the Shiva statue at CERN. Several robed figures emerged from the darkness and positioned themselves symmetrically around the lit statue. One of them is disrobed to reveal a naked woman who lies down. Then another hooded figure moves over her wielding a knife and thrusts it downward in a mock blood sacrifice. At this point, the cameraman becomes frantic and the footage soon cuts out. But is the video real? The footage was quickly denounced by CERN officials as a prank, saying it was just a case of humor gone too far. They spend billions of dollars, an estimated 30 billion, to find the Higgs boson, aka God particle, alone. But what has that discovery done to benefit humanity? And how do we know it hadn't previously been discovered? In a 1998 episode of The Simpsons, a cartoon often cited for its apparent predictions, Homer becomes an inventor and in one scene writes an equation on the chalkboard that works out to be the mass of the Higgs boson particle, 14 years before it was officially discovered. The story goes that one of the writers, David X. Cohen, worked with an astronomer friend of his to create the equation. But the odds of them randomly coming up with the exact formula would be like choosing winning lottery numbers. Was this just a crazy coincidence? The elite tend to retain scientific information from the general public until they are ready to release it. 
In 2018, the facility announced it would be shutting down the LHC for the next two years, during which time the collider would undergo what CERN calls the high luminosity upgrade, after which the LHC will be capable of colliding up to 10 times more particles. What surprises might we be in store for when an even larger Hadron Collider powers back on in 2021? From strange occult imagery to warnings of catastrophic doom, there's lots of strangeness surrounding CERN. Will the experiments taking place at CERN discover a new dimension? Bring humanity into contact with supreme intelligences? Or could it open the gates to cosmic destruction? Only time will tell. Have you experienced a Mandela effect? If so, I want to know about it in the comments section. Do you think CERN is responsible? I would love to hear your opinions. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay notified. A special thanks to my Patreon and PayPal supporters. Thank you so much. Your generosity helps keep this channel going.